children, you're all welcome to primary power class. I hope you had a very nice week. Let us close our eyes for prayer. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord, we thank you for bringing us together again at your feet. We thank you, Father Lord, for protecting us throughout the week. As we gather to learn today, Lord, we pray that you come and give us a teachable heart. Give us a, thank, a heart of thanksgiving, and at the end, save, sanctify, and baptize us with your Holy Ghost. Thank you for answers to our prayer. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Children, all these beautiful creations as seen in these videos are entirely the work of God. The land animals, the sea animals, the beautiful flowers and plants, all created by God. It is not accidentally made. Neither is it a mistake or a product of some science, like some people will say. So children, for the next few minutes, let us continue to enjoy this beautiful video of God's creation so that we can appreciate God the more. Children, the title of our lesson is God Made It All. Our key verses for today lesson is taken from Psalm 92, verse 5. Psalm 92, verse 5. Oh Lord, how great are thy works. Our Bible text is taken from Genesis chapter 1, from verses 9 to 13 and verses 20 to 25. But for, but for this lesson, I'll be reading only verses 11, 12, and 25. Verse 11, And God said, Let the head bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind, whose seed is in itself upon the head, and it was so. 12, And the head brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after its kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind, and God saw that it was good. 25, and the last verse. And God made the beast of the head after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and God saw that it was good. Children, close your Bible and look up. In the passage we just read, children, we see God at work. So on the third day, we have the creation of oceans and dry land as we know it. And the heart began to take shape. God also created all the plants and trees and he made them to bear fruit. Children, this means that flowers, rivers, beaches, vegetables and much more were all created on the third day. Before the fifth day in the creation story with children, the world was full of plants and vegetations, but there was no animals on sight. One of the first animals to be created were the sea creatures. And he also made the birds to fly across the face of the heavens. So every creature that has life in it, that moves, and that's in the water, that is what God created on the fifth day. This includes whales and sharks, all fish, shrimp, eel, and more came to be on the earth on the fifth day of creation. The other animals that were created on this day were the birds. God simply spoke and the birds filled the skies. Different kinds of birds, as you can see from our video that was shown at the beginning of, the, of this lesson. After all the sea creatures and birds had been created, God made the land animals Lion, tiger, elephants, dogs, including heavy reptiles, 
amphibian mammals and non-flying birds. Children, can you imagine what this world would be like without all these beautiful creations? Yes, it would be very boring and not nice at all. God created plants and different animals for man's need and his pleasures. The beauty of all his creation all speaks of God's love and care for you and for me. And we can see the reason why Troy, from our story today, was able to appreciate how quiet and peaceful the country area they moved to is compared to the loud and noisy experience of the city. Troy was not happy and was thinking he would be bored forever when his family first moved to the countryside. But as you can see in the story, Troy became so happy for having a puppy for the first time when they moved to the countryside, as this was not possible in the city where they were previously living. Troy was also very happy to help his parents to plant in their garden, and he also had the opportunity to go fishing with his dad. Troy was so thankful to God who made such a beautiful world. So children, what have you learned about God and the creation story today? God is good! Yes. For me, I learned that God is so good. I learned that God made this beautiful world for us all. God does not owe me or you anything, but rather we owe him a lot. Because his splendor and the glory as seen in all the beautiful things he created is enough for us all to worship him. God does not need to prove and give us reasons why we should praise him in our daily life. All his creation as read to us is enough for us to praise him and just like Troy, we too should be thankful to God for loving us so much and creating this beautiful world for us all. So children, will you take the time out today to praise God for his creation? Yes! I am going to praise God for all the beautiful things that he created. I am going to praise him for the plants. I'm going to praise him for the animals. I'm going to praise him for creating all these beautiful things for us all to enjoy. The key statement is God's beautiful world. Activities, ages two to five. Find the words hidden in the picture. Write them on the line below to complete the sentences. Ages six to eight, riddles. Write in the missing word in the riddles below. Our lesson for next week is titled God's Greatest Creation. That is the end of our lesson. See you next Sunday. Bye! Welcome to Answer Class. Our lesson today is Chapter 10 The Millennium Reign. Our text is from Revelation chapter 20, verses 1 to 10, and Isaiah chapter 35, verses 1 to 10. We are going to read selected ones. Revelation chapter 20, verses 1 to 3. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless Pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years years will be fulfilled and after that he must be loosed a little season isaiah chapter 35 verse 1 the wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose 5 then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap as an heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing, for in the wilderness shall waters break out, and streams in the desert. 
Let's close our Bible. Here with me, I have, I have with me here, toys, wild animals, a lion, tiger, and a snake. And I have these plants, both fresh and withered, even with fruit, but with many sharp points, thorns that pricks. When I was trying to get this, it pricks my hand and it was very painful. And I have with me tinsels and withered palm tree. See, the rose tree with tinsels, thorn that can hurt. When I was trying to get all this, it pricks my fingers. So painful. That is the world we are in today. But we thank God in this quarter, God has been teaching us, warning us about this sign of the end times, which we are in now. We've been seeing it happening. And He's asking us, Are you ready? Am I ready? In our answer class, he said, heaven can, can heaven wait? No, it cannot wait. That is why God is giving us this warning. And if we follow our lesson, after Christ being the cornerstone, the historical Israel, all this, God has made it plain to us. And we've studied about being ready for the rapture. We've studied about the rapture. We've studied about the marriage supper of the Lamb. We've studied about the Antichrist. And last week, we studied about Battle of Armageddon, the revelation of Christ. All this is to make us prepared, be ready, have parts in this glorious time that is coming, the millennial reign, which will be for a thousand years. We've been studying about Logan's family. By the grace of God, God has helped them to make the rapture, to be at the marriage supper, and now in the millennial reign. Logan saw their friends, family friend, Mr. Brown, who has been using wheelchair, now walking straight in the millennium. It's a time to look for. It's a time to ask God to help us to have part in that millennium reign. Our memory verse for the lesson is, the wilderness and the solitary place shall be glad for them, and the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. Isaiah chapter 35 verse 1. I want to be part of that time. I hope you too you will be praying that God should help you to be part of that time. That millennial reign will happen just immediately after the battle of Armageddon, when Christ will come with his saints to set up the thousand years of peace in this world. There, there will be no sickness, no sorrow. Look, many of you that know me, that I cannot walk, 
without the aid of this cane, then I will need it no more. Many of us cannot read without glasses. Then we will need that one no more. It will be a glorious time. In our Bible reading, we read that Satan will be banned and put in the bottomless pit. He won't be able to deceive us anymore. Nowadays, if anybody 80, 90 died, he said, oh, he's an old person. But in that time, that millennium time, anyone that died a hundred, at hundred, he said, oh, he's a young person. We will have a glorious body. It's just a matter of, I want to go to this place, and we will be there. All the, the mountain will be green. The wild animals with the same one, they will play together. A little child will lead them. There will be no darkness. There will be no fear of, oh, they, I can't go there. Uh, it will soon be dark. There, is, there will be peace all over. Most of all, Christ will be the king there, and all the saints will reign with him. I cannot wait to that time. I'm just asking God to help me. I'm sure you want to be part of that time. There will be peace, no more sickness, no more sadness. All will be peace. It's a wonderful time to look at. But looking at it, we must heed the warning. We must be ready to have part in that, in the rapture, in the marriage supper, where God will distribute reward for faithful service. May God help us to put our heart onto wisdom to be part of that millennium reign. Our key verse, for, a key statement for this lesson is, I will reign with Jesus. And the activity for the lesson will be a thousand years of peace. Use the maze to find the missing words in the four sentences below and write it on the blank line on the sent each sentence. Our next week lesson is chapter 11, The Great White Throne Judgment. The memory verse is from Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Shall we pray? Oh Lord, thank you for the lesson. Thank you for primary past lesson, telling us that we make all things beautiful. We thank you for the answer lesson, for the hope of this glorious time. Help us to be there. Help us, O oh Lord. Help us to pray, to be watchful for your coming. We want to reign with you. Do this for us. And we will praise you forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Bye.